Hey guys, today we'll be talking about the transpiration cohesion tension theory and its relationship to adhesion, cohesion, and surface tension. Before we begin, we need to talk about adhesion and cohesion and how they play into this theory. Cohesion is the attraction between like molecules, such as water molecules via hydrogen bond, while adhesion is the attraction between different molecules, such as water molecules and the surface of the xylem. Adhesion allows water molecules to form a curved meniscus at the water surface. It's important to note that cohesion is stronger than adhesion, which allows water molecules to stick together as they're propelled up the xylem in a single column through capillary action. An example of capillary action that you might be familiar with is when you dip the edge of a piece of paper into a puddle of water. Capillary action allows the water to travel up the piece of paper from the point of contact and travel up against gravity. Let's talk about surface tension. Surface tension is the result of stronger cohesion forces on molecules at the surface than cohesion forces underneath the surface. This produces a negative pressure or tension that pulls water from one section of the plant to another. Finally, we'll be talking about the process of transpiration. Transpiration is when water moves from the inside of the plant to the outside of the plant through the stomata. Before we begin, let's take a look at our tree. More specifically, let's take a look at our roots, our stem, and our leaves. Notice how the xylem runs throughout the entire plant, starting at the roots and exiting through the stomata of the leaves. First, water in the soil moves into the roots of the plants through osmosis, and then again through osmosis, water moves into the xylem of the roots. From there, adhesion and cohesion allows for capillary action of water to move up the xylem and towards the individual branches. If we look at our leaf, we can see how the xylem in the branches touches the spongy mesophyll cell walls. Water initially moves from the xylem to the cell wall of the spongy mesophyll cell via osmosis. When the stomata are open and transpiration can occur, the saturated cell walls of the mesophyll cells can now undergo evaporation, where water molecules in the cell wall can change state from a liquid to a gas, now occupying the air spaces in our leaves. The water in our, leaf, in our air spaces can now exit through the stomata. We can visually see how water enters through the roots and exits through the stomata of the leaves, and cohesion allows for water molecules to stick together and travel together in a single column, kind of like a rope. With our understanding of surface tension and how it produces a negative pressure or tension that pulls water from one section of the plant to another, what part of the plant do you think this would be necessary in terms of transpiration? That's right, the spongy mesophyll cell wall. Once the water in the cell wall of the spongy mesophyll undergoes evaporation, it increases the surface tension in the cell wall and produces a negative pressure that pulls water from the xylem surrounding the cell wall into the cell wall itself. And since water travels in a single column, kind of like a rope, a water is pulled up from the roots and the stems throughout the plant. In terms of our rope analogy, we can think of evaporation as a tug on our rope. And as evaporation continues, we can cont continue tugging on our rope as more and more water moves up from our roots and exits through the stomata of our leaves. And that's our video on transpiration. Thanks for watching. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.